What is a woodwind instrument? Well, probably some wooden instrument that you blow into with wind, and it makes sound, right? Easy. Well, if a woodwind is a wind instrument that is made of wood, we run into a few problems right away. In an orchestra, the woodwind section is generally considered to be bassoons, clarinets, oboes, and flutes. Flutes that are made of metal. Oh wait, you say? Flutes used to be made of wood. In fact, some flutes still are made of wood. So via historical precedent, flutes belong in the woodwind family. And it is true that flutes are made of wood and historically flutes used to be made of wood, but that's not the reason why flutes belong in the woodwind family. And that's also not the reason that saxophones belong in the woodwind family. If modern metal flutes are woodwinds because of their historical materials, we should probably go back to their original historical materials, which would be bone. Flutes are some of the oldest instruments in the world, really second only to drums. So I guess flutes are bone winds? In the case of the saxophone, Adolf Sax really made the saxophone thinking about the clarinet, specifically the bass clarinet. So you could argue that the saxophone is descended from the clarinet. That's fine. But if we're going to do things that way, then tuba is a woodwind instrument. The historical ancestor of the tuba is the serpent, which was a wooden instrument. Other brass instruments were made out of wood, such as the alphorn, the cornetto. There are dozens and dozens of wooden and animal horn brass instruments that would put all the brass instruments into a non-brass category. But fortunately, that's not how we categorize instruments. Now, some of you are probably saying, wait, wait, I don't care about flutes. I don't care about history. Saxophones are a woodwind because they have a wooden reed. No, these reeds are made of cane, not wood. Now you might be thinking, oh, cane, wood, same thing. But cane is a type of grass and wood obviously comes from trees. And grass and trees are as different as snails and elephants. I mean, I guess they both have eyes? And that's why when you hear a jazz musician saying, hey man, you got any grass? You can be confident that they're just looking for a fresh reed. So flutes and saxophones are made of metal, but they are woodwind instruments. Why? To answer that question, we have to dive into the world of organology, a type of classification so obscure, my computer thinks it's a typo. Organology is simply the science and study of the classification of musical instruments. So yes, organology does cover organs. Not those organs. Well, actually, yes, those organs, but that's because it's a homophone, and that's besides the point. These organs, which actually might be woodwinds, but we'll get there. All you have to remember is that organology is the term for classifying musical instruments. Within organology, we find something called the Hornbostel Sax Classification System. Oh, that's right. Things are about to get academic. If you feel the need to hit the two times speed button here, I totally understand. It's uh, just above and to the right of the like and subscribe buttons. According to the Journal of the Anthropological Society of Oxford, the universally used classification system established by musical instruments of Hornbostel and sax has become the paradigm of organology. Which pretty much means that at least according to Oxford University, when it comes to the best way to classify musical instruments, this is it. So what does the Hornbostel sax system say about woodwinds? Well, the Hornbostel sax classification system divides wind instruments, more formally known as aerophones, into two main categories, free aerophones and non-free aerophones. We'll get back to free aerophones, but for now, what you need to know is that non-free aerophones enclose the vibrating air in a tube and free aerophones don't. So non-free aerophones, which is primarily what we think of as wind instruments, are divided into three categories, edge-blown aerophones, reed aerophones, and trumpets. The system organizes instruments not based on what they're made out of, but how they produce a sound in the first place. After all, there are metal clarinets and plastic oboes and plastic saxophones. It just doesn't make sense to categorize instruments based on what they're made out of. So let's start with what woodwinds definitely aren't, which is brass instruments. In the Hornbostel sax system, brass instruments are called trumpets because again, we don't really like talking about the material when we're trying to really nail down classification. A very common problem that comes from classifying instruments by what they're made out of is when we get to this thing. This is a didgeridoo, and a didgeridoo is a brass instrument that is essentially never made of brass. If you really don't want to call this thing a brass instrument, you have to at least call it a trumpet aerophone because it is absolutely not a woodwind despite its material. That's why the serpent can be the ancestor of the tuba and be a brass instrument, and the tuba never has to be considered a woodwind instrument, and neither does the serpent. If you're buzzing your lips, you're playing a brass instrument or a trumpet. 
So let's get back to what a woodwind actually is. The first category of non-free aerophones is edge-blown aerophones, which is essentially flutes and whistles. So basically what happens is that a thin stream of air is split on a sharp edge. That split causes the air to vibrate, and the vibration of air is what we call sound. In the case of flutes, the air is split on the back wall of the head joint here. In the case of whistles and recorders, the air is directed into a thin stream and split here on the fipple. That's right, this thing is called a fipple. It's a word that you can use in polite conversation. Fipple. 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 The second category of non-free aerophones is reed aerophones, which unsurprisingly covers reed instruments. That's single reeds, double reeds, and quadruple reeds, which is a real thing that we might be able to get to one day if you hit like and subscribe. In reed instruments, high pressure air causes the reed to vibrate back and forth, which vibrates the air, which causes a sound. But here's the interesting thing. There are reeds in clarinets and oboes, but also in melodicas and accordions and harmonicas and bagpipes and pipe organs, which means that all these instruments are technically reed instruments. But here's the thing, they're not just reed instruments, they're free reed instruments, which makes them free aerophones. Are free reed instruments woodwinds? Well, they certainly act a lot like them, and sometimes they even look a lot like them. This is a Chinese bawu, which is a free reed flute? You'd think you'd play it like this, where you just blow across the top. That doesn't really make any noise. If you look closely at the mouthpiece, instead of seeing a hole, you'll see a reed. But Bawu isn't the only instrument like this. Take the halusi. There's that same reed just inside of this gourd. Unfortunately, I can't open it up because I don't think I can get it back together. But I can open up something else for you. Every key on this melodica has a corresponding reed. When you press down the key, the air can access that reed, vibrate it, and produce a sound. So this is a reed instrument with a keyboard body. This thing isn't like a piano where you press the key, which hits a hammer, which hits a string, making it sort of a percussion instrument, or like a harpsichord, or pressing the key plucks a string, making it sort of a string instrument. This plays sort of like a woodwind instrument. The melodica really acts like a woodwind instrument because you can use all of the air and articulation techniques that you really can't get on any other keyboard instrument. So the melodica acts a lot like a reed instrument because it is a reed instrument. If you take your melodica and take off the back of it, every single key has a reed. And those reeds look just like the bawu reed because it's the exact same kind of reed. So what is a woodwind really? Well, here's the problem. The hornbostel sachs classification system, which is the paradigm of organology, doesn't actually mention the term woodwind. It just avoids this whole conversation altogether. So maybe we should just look up woodwind in the dictionary and call it a day. The problem is that sometimes dictionary definitions can be wrong, or at least misleading. Here's the thing about definitions. They don't always give you technical information. Definitions are often about common usage, and common usage can have its problems. For instance, take the word literally. Merriam-Webster defines literally as virtually, used as an exaggerated way to emphasize a statement or description that is not literally true or possible. So literally means not literally. That's literally crazy. So how do they define woodwind? Merriam-Webster defines woodwind as any group of wind instruments that are characterized by a cylindrical or conical tube of wood or metal that produce tones by the vibration of one or two reeds in the mouthpiece or by the passing of air over a mouth hole. First of all, this is what two reeds in a mouthpiece look like. <laughs> Am I being pedantic? Absolutely. But being pedantic is what dictionaries are all about. But more importantly, this definition excludes ocarinas, whistles, and recorders. It's not particularly contentious to say that the recorder is a woodwind, but according to this definition, recorder can only be a woodwind if air is passing over a mouth hole. And this isn't a mouth hole, it's a fiddle. Remember that both flutes and recorders fall under the edge-blown airphone category, it's just that the air gets split on a different sharp edge. So really, if almost the same thing is happening, it seems very strange to me to exclude the recorder from being a woodwind. And honestly, there's no reason to exclude it from being a woodwind because it really falls quite neatly into the woodwind family. And furthermore, it's kind of just hurtful to our fipple friends. Isn't that right, Sarah? 
That's right, Josh. Since Oxford University is the one that said that Hornbostel Sachs is the paradigm of organology, let's see what their definition says. According to the Oxford Companion to Music, a woodwind is a term applied to that section of the Western orchestra comprising flutes and reed instruments. Although originally these instruments were commonly made of wood, many other materials are or have been used including metal, flutes and saxophones, plastics, clarinets and recorders, bone, ivory, and glass. Such instruments sounded by having air blown into them are classified in organology, along with brass instruments and such bellows blown instruments as the organ bagpipes and accordion as aerophones. This definition is actually pretty close, although it does arguably still exclude fiple flutes. But the real problem is that it's sort of Eurocentric? There's no real reason to specify that woodwinds are only Western instruments. There's nothing about Western instruments that make them need to have a class of their own, and what exactly a Western instrument is gets really blurry really fast. There's nothing really intrinsic to Western orchestral instruments that make it clear that they need a category of their own, and especially not one called woodwinds, which is the main category for these kind of instruments. As far as I can tell, the most accurate and inclusive definition of what a woodwind is is simply any edge-blown aerophone, any reed aerophone, or any free reed aerophone. So yes, harmonicas, melodicas, bagpipes, pipe organs, even beer bottles are woodwinds. But is calling these instruments woodwinds useful? Well, I'm very glad you asked, so let's have a conversation about tomatoes. Tomatoes are, in fact, a vegetable. Now, I know what you're saying. Actually, technically, tomatoes are a fruit. And it's true, tomatoes are a fruit. But tomatoes are also a vegetable. Tomatoes are biologically a fruit and culinarily a vegetable. And if you disagree with me, Please don't make fruit salad for your friends or loved ones. The important thing to realize here is that while tomatoes are biologically a fruit, that's really only important for biologists and gardeners and farmers. For the vast majority of us, they're a culinary vegetable, and that's what is important to us in that context. So back to woodwinds. The reason that I'm able to make this YouTube channel and play so many woodwind instruments is because they're all pretty similar. The majority of woodwinds have a line of holes that you cover one by one and the pitch goes down. Sure, there are a handful of differences in fingerings, but for the most part, the technique is really the same. And that goes doubly for air and articulation techniques, which really cross over among all wind instruments. And while I might not be an amazing keyboard player, I can do this on melodica, which a lot of melodica players might struggle to do. So speaking of melodica, while it might technically be a woodwind, that's not the most useful categorization for it. It's really better categorized as a keyboard instrument. But like we've discussed, keyboard instruments are never just keyboard instruments. They can be woodwinds, they can be percussion, they can be string instruments. But the common thread is that they're all keyboard instruments played by keyboardists. So at the end of the day, what is a woodwind? Well, it really depends on who you ask. There are people who will say it is only European classical orchestral instruments. There are people who will say that saxophone is not a woodwind instrument and it's a brass instrument. Those people are wrong. The term woodwind historically has been used to only talk about European instruments because historically the people thinking about what woodwinds are have been Europeans largely in classical music. But that doesn't mean that we have to keep categorizing woodwinds in such a narrow way. Based on the way woodwinds produce sound, there's no reason to limit them to European classical wooden instruments plus saxophones, I guess. After all, music is an art form known for inclusivity and progress, and there's no reason not to include the whole woodwind family in the definition of woodwind. A word is only what people say it is, literally. We've just scratched the surface of woodwinds. On this channel, we're going to be exploring all kinds of woodwinds, and clearly, there's a lot to explore. If you want to support this channel, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It really is what makes a YouTube channel thrive. And if you really want to support the channel, I have a Patreon, which is sort of like a virtual tip jar where I can also give back to you a little bit. So thanks for tuning in to Woodwind Wednesday, and I'll see you next time.